Hello everyone, we will continue the topic ALD and in the previous videos we studied how to create our own GUI status whenever we have the ALD, how we can create the button into GUI status. Whenever I will click on to this button, user command will call and in the user command, I have written the logic to fetch the data from VBAP table. Suppose if I am putting the cursor and clicking on to this button, the data is coming from the VBAP table. Now, many people ask, this is what we did is interactive ALV. Yes, this is interactive ALV because you are interacting with the output of the ALV. Suppose if I am running this particular program, this output got displayed. Now, after that, you are interacting with the output of the ALV. So, whatever the PF status we did after that, we have written the logic on the user command. Yes, we are interacting with the output of the ALV. Previously, in the previous programs, whatever we developed, suppose if I will go for any of the program. Suppose I will go for third ALV program. If I am running this program, if I am giving the input, at that time we are not interacting with the output. We just displayed the output at that point of time. Now we are interacting with the output of the ALV. Now we will go for further investigation and most, most important part point. Suppose we pro gave this report to the customer and now customer is doing the testing for this particular report. Customer is using this report. So what customer did? Customer provided the input and executed the report. Suppose customer selected the row and clicked on to this button. Perfectly fine. Customer selected this row and clicked on to this button. Perfectly fine. Now what customer did? Customer can also go for any anything, whatever customer bought. Suppose customer selected the row, but rather than putting the cursor onto this column, sales document number column, now the cursor is on this column. Now the cursor is on creation date column. Yes, user selected the row. User is supposed putting the cursor here. User selected the row, but the highlighted column is time. Suppose user selected this row, but the highlighted column is name. So if other than sales document number, if the column is something else, suppose I am selecting this row and the cursor is on time column. Yes, customer can do this. Now customer is clicking on to this button. Now customer is saying no output is coming. I selected this row. I have put I selected this row, but output is not coming. Suppose customer now after that went to this particular row. Now have you seen the highlighted column is category category. Now customer is clicking on to this button and the output is not coming. But customer will not understand that it is happening because the highlighted column where the customer put the cursor is other than this sales document number. Customer will say, I selected the row. Why the output is not coming? If the cursor is on sales document number, output is coming. If the cursor is on sales document number, output is coming. But while selecting the row, if the cursor is on any other column, output is not coming at all. But customer will not. Customer is just like a user. Customer is saying, I am selecting a row. 
Sometimes output is coming, sometimes output is not coming. So it's a completely, completely technical person responsibility to understand why, why it is happening. So firstly, we need to identify why, why it is happening. So we analyzed customer while selecting the row. If the highlighted column is sales document number, then the output is coming. If the highlighted column is something else, then the output is not coming. So best way for a technical person, always, always do the debugging and check why, why it is happening. So now we will firstly understand in the debugging mode why it is happening and then we will give a permanent solution to the customer. Yes, we have written the logic in the previous programs. And yes, we thought it is working fine. Yes, but now customer did the testing or functional did the testing. At that time, it is not working fine. So now we will check why, why it is not working fine. So what I will do? I will put a breakpoint into the user command subroutine. Because you all know, whenever we click onto the button, user command is calling. I will put a breakpoint. I will go to execute. I am giving some input. I will go to execute. Suppose I am selecting this row. I have put the cursor. I selected this row and the highlighted column is sales document number. I will go for executing of this button. I am clicking on to this button. Now I will go to desktop 3. Most preferable desktop. Now you can see r underscore ucom display because you all know when we created that button we gave the function code to the button as display now i will come on to this select query in the select query we have the where condition rs underscore cell field hyphen value in the previous video i showed you Whenever you are going for selecting the row, in this we are getting all the things. So what SAP is saying? You selected which column of the table? VBELN. Yes, we have put the cursor. In this, we have put the cursor on which particular column? Seventh sales document number. That is VBELN. And what is the value of the same? 77. What is the internal table? LT underscore VBAK. Which index of the row you clicked? You clicked on to which particular row? First row. After that, if I will scroll down, you can see it is clearly saying field name is VBEL. Now we are fetching data based upon this RS cell field hyphen value. What is this? It is 77. Input is on the right hand side. It will go to VBELN column of VBAP table. It will fetch the data of these three columns and data will come into this internal table. As of now, zero records. If I will execute this query, now you can see we have two records in the internal table and we are getting the output. Perfectly fine. No problem. Now I will go to back button. Now customer will not understand this particular thing that the highlighted column is sales document number. Now what we will do? We'll simply, simply select this row now. Now rather than going for highlighting this column, suppose customer did this. Suppose customer came to this row, but this is the highlighted column. Now I will click on to this button. Now I will show you the information. Just go for RS underscore cell field. 
we selected which row second row what is the internal table this is the internal table now what scp is saying your selected column is er date and yes that is true also scp is not wrong in this case we selected which particular column er dat and this is the value of er dat now if i will scroll down what is the field name er dat now you are saying scp fetch data from vb ap table based upon rs cell field value what is rs cell field value it is date it is date you are passing vb eln is equal to date will you get anything you will not get anything and have you seen internal table has zero records and if i will execute we are not getting the output at all now if customer is saying yes i will always always put the cursor on sales document number column then perfectly fine there is no need to go for any changes or if you communicate to customer just put the cursor on this column and if customer agrees there is no need for any code changes now if customer is saying no my team can put the cursor on anywhere because my team is working based upon a row in that case you need to go for code changes so now in the next video we will see how to resolve this particular issue so what is the summary of this particular video we are just covering the real time examples real time scenarios which we face when we dev give or when we deliver something to customer based upon our perception we deliver the requirement and customer is using now customer is saying sometimes the output is coming sometimes output is not coming so we analyzed yes whenever customer is selecting a row and selecting the sales document number column the cursor is on sales document number column then the output is coming as the output is not coming so we checked in the debugging board that we have written the query based upon the value value and whenever user is selecting the other columns the values is of other columns that's why the output is not coming in the next video we will simply write the logic and then we will check are we getting a accepted output or not so that's it in this video thank you